is the key to heaven. It is our faith that unlocks the door. And we want to pray with and for you today. Wherever you are, all over the world, those of you that have sent prayer requests, I want you to know that Church on the Rock has received them. And we began that moment praying for you. You do know that what the Lord cannot do, it just can't be done. But I believe that he is more than a doctor. He is a healer. And so today, we want to join with you in prayer. Those of you that have lost jobs, those of you that are caring for second and third generation grandchildren, we want you to know that we partner with you in prayer. We want you to believe God for your miracle. If you have the faith, God has the power. We're praying for you today, Sister Mary Ann Roberts, Naomi Smith, Norma Jean Roberts, Brother Mosey Hill, Renee Tyler in Seattle, Washington, Gary Altman, Brenda Dennis and Helen Armstrong, Sister Fleeta Mae Bigsby, Willie Ann and Mary Helen Malone, Robin Brown Young, Sister Kelly Sue Collins in Columbus, Ohio. God bless you, Kelly. It was good to hear from you this morning. Kelton Waller, Harvey, and Denise McGee Hoskins in Chicago, and Lynn, Sharon, Ashley, Maurice, and Rodney McGee and family in Chicago, Janetta, Reginald, Whitney, and Micah Moore, Sister Johnny Kathy in Atlanta, Georgia, Linda, Lanisha, and Lonnie Gilmore in Atlanta, Georgia, Brenda Ireland in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Brenda, it was good to see you on. We miss you. I love you, my dear cousin. James Garner and family. The Smith and Owens family. Jeanette Garner. Church on the Rock is praying for you. Rosemary Hernandez Borges. Candice Romero, Jean Phillips and family in Jackson, Mississippi. Sister Mary L. Rice, God bless you, there in South Haven, Mississippi. Bob Slater, we haven't forgotten about you, Bob. We are praying for you. Betty Stolworth Davis, Sister Victoria Baines and her entire family there in Las Vegas, Nevada. God bless you this morning, Mrs. Baines. Garfield, Rosalind, and Denise Ralph. Ronald, Karen, and Santa Beast Jones in McDonough, Georgia. We miss you so much, and we are praying for you. Janetta Elliott, Roy and Sandra Johnson, Melissa Lawson, Marilyn Mariah Manuel, Thelma Carver, Lakeisha and Thea Bradley, Priscilla White, Angela Venable, and family in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Church on the Rock is praying for you. Robin Calhoun, Charles Calhoun, Star Crawford, Mary Jane and Pierre Larry, Jasmine Smith, May Johnson, Pastor Larry Ellis in San Mateo. God bless you, buddy. We're praying for you. Pastor H.L. Davis II in San Francisco. Mrs. Weta Davis in Detroit, Michigan. Kirk and Jackie Ford Jackson. God bless you today. 
Marla Starrett, Don Rulis, Walter Louise and Lynette Crawley, Helen Jones, Hope Richard in East Palo Alto, Sandra McNeil, Stephanie Gaines, Susan Vargas Rinconis, Diane Miles in New Orleans, Louisiana, we're praying for you. Tobias Cotton, serving in the National Guard, your church family is praying for you. All those fighting COVID-19, all those that have lost their jobs, and all frontline essential workers, we want you to know wherever you are, we are praying for you today. Now, if you're hurting, I want you to lay your hand where you're hurting as we talk to God. And I want you to believe God to take the pain away. God made you. He knows all about you. And if he can't do it, Tylenol won't be able to do it either. So as we go to God in prayer aloud, you pray silently and believe God to answer your prayers. Lord, we want to thank you, God, for another opportunity to come to you, to speak to you, God, to lay off everything that is bothering us, God, everything that is going on in our lives, God, giving it up to you, God, for you know everything about us, God. You see everything, God. We can do anything, but you cannot fail, God. We just want to say thank you, God, for another opportunity to get up this morning, God, to put on clothes, God, to put, have something in our stomachs, God, being able to walk and drive to church, God. We want to thank you, God, for a job, God, being able to pay all our bills, God. We want to thank you, God, for our friends, our family, our relationships, God, those that are all around us, God, that you blessed us with, that you brought into our lives, God, to keep us forward, encouraging us, God. We want to say thank you for that. I want to say thank you, God, for this church family. God. Thank you, Lord. Thank they've you. Been, they've been so faithful to you, God, throughout this entire pandemic, God. We just want to say thank you, God. We're here for you, God, as yes. you've been for us throughout our entire lives, God. Yes. Lord, we have not lived up to the perfect example that you set for us in Jesus, and we're sorry for our sins, God, and we pray yes. that you'll Make us the person that you want us to be. Make us the service that you want us to be, yeah. God. We want to be more like you, God. Oh, yes. So I just pray that like, you will touch us, God. You will heal us from all our sins, God, that we have done, past, present, and future, Lord. Yeah. I want to pray for the sick yes. this morning, God. There's a lot of people that are sick that have COVID, God. Not even just COVID, just other sicknesses. Yes, God. Lord. Yes. Created, God. And I just pray that you will heal them, God. They are leaning on you. They're depending yeah. on you, God. Yeah. They have faith, God. So show them that you can do it, oh, God. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That you can do it, but we just have faith, God. We know that you can do it, God. I pray for those that are in prison, God. Those that have been caught up in so many different chaos is God and ended up in jail God I pray that you will just touch them you heal them you'll open their eyes to you God yes, not yes. only them God for, for sinners everywhere God they need you God they depend on you God they looking for someone that can dry the tears from their eyes God they're looking for someone that will tell them the truth God and not a lie God and I just pray that you will touch their hearts God pierce their hearts God bring them to the doors of this church God yes, let them yes. realize that you are our Heavenly Father, God. Let them realize that we only have two places to go when we die, God. And I just pray yes. that you will just touch them, open their eyes, but we all need you, God. I pray for the Facebook Live, God. There are those that are depending on you, leaning on you, God. Sick, don't have jobs, God. They have relationship issues, God. We're, they're depending on you. They're reading the Bible. Yes, yes Lord. Day, God. They're quoting scriptures to you, God. And I just pray that you would just... Show them. Show them that you can do it, God. We already know that you can, God. I pray for Pastor Moore and his mother, God. Thank you, Lord through a Jesus. Lot, Lord. And I just pray that you would just have mercy on his mother, God. Yes, Lord. 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 Yes,
or like we already know, God. So I just pray that you would just touch them, God, that you would just come through for them, God. They have yes. faith, God. They're leaning on you, God. They're yeah. waiting for that miracle to come through, God. You yes. already know that you can do anything, but you can't fail, God. There's nothing impossible for you, God. Yeah. Everything's easy for you, God. Yeah. So I just pray that you would just come through for them, Lord. Come through, God. And come through. I just pray for this world, God, for this vaccine, God. I pray that all will be done soon because yes. this too yes. shall pass. So I just pray that you would just... Wipe it all out, God. Please, Lord, if not, please. Just use this as a way to send people to you, God. Use yeah. this as a way to yeah. get people's attention, God. Yeah. That yeah. You are not playing around, God. Right. You are God. You can do anything, God. Yeah. You can take life. You can give life. So yeah. I just pray that you would just use this as a lesson for all of us, God, that we should depend on you and only yeah. you above. Yeah. And just thank you, God, for your son, Jesus Christ, who died thank across you. Thank you. Jesus, God. I don't know what I would do without you, God. I don't know where I would be, what I would be doing right now if I didn't give my life to you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The day that I gave my life to you, God. And we all will never forget the day yes. that we went down into the water, God, and we gave us up. Thank you, Lord. Thank God. you, Lord. We want to say thank you, God. For just blessing our lives, God. Our lives are way better than it was before, God. Thank you, Lord. We don't even want to remember what the past has done. The past, God. We just focus on right now. We focus on the future, God. Yes, yes. We're focusing on the place that we'll be at after we are gone from this earth, God. Because yes. this is not our own, God. We have a better place for us, God. Yes. After yes. God, God. I just want to say thank you for that. And I want to share this to everyone, God. Because everyone deserves another chance, God. And yes. that's why... We are all here, God, to show them, God, that you love them, God, that Jesus died for them, God. Yes, that yes. That has eternal life with you, God, one day, Lord. Just thank you, God, for everything. We love you, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Come on, everybody. Let's give the Lord a hand of praise. Can we do that? Thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Lord. Oh,
Come on, let's give the Lord a hand and praise everybody. Come on, if you need it, clap your hands to the Lord. Shall we stand together? Oh, have heard, 
lest at any time we should let them slip. Turn around and look at your neighbor, wave at him, smile, say, are you, are you? slipping? Slip Turn around and wave at somebody that you come here with, look at them, pull the mask off for a second, and just smile at him if you can't say, are you, are you? slipping? God bless you today. The Lenten season is upon us. It is that time of the Christian calendar where we reflect on Christ's 40 day fast in the wilderness. It has always been a time for penance and reflection. Some denominations encourage their members to sacrifice a luxury during these 40 days to remind them of Christ's sacrifice. Some take it a step further and give the money they save to their church or favorite charity. Lent is a time to contemplate our own faithfulness to the Lord. The greatest challenge we face as Christians is the charge to be faithful. Even though the scriptures teach us that devotion is our duty, we often find it hard to remain demonstrably committed to the cause of Christ. We claim to love the Lord, but we have a hard time showing it. Faith is demonstrated by works, not just by the sacrifices we make and the service we give, but also by the way that we live. It's not just our physical works that prove our faith. It's also our spoken words and the choices we make in secret. In other words, it's not just an outward thing. It's an inward thing. Uh, look at somebody say, it's an inward thing. Uh, come on, give the Lord a hand of praise in you. Y'all going to have to help me preach this today, won't you? Immediately after he was baptized by John, Jesus was led by the Spirit of God into the desert alone to be tested. Uh, some wrongly teach that this was God's test uh, of Jesus' obedience, uh, but that uh, was never necessary, uh, since it was impossible uh, for Jesus uh, to sin. Uh, the wilderness experience had uh, another purpose. Uh, its purpose uh, was to test uh, Christ's endurance uh, for the difficult ministry uh, that lie uh, ahead. Uh, oh, uh, we are all uh, tested. Uh, life tests uh, us daily. Uh, that's why Hebrews warns us uh, to earnestly heed uh, what we have heard uh, or been taught. Uh, still, uh, it's tough. Uh, for example, uh, we've heard uh, that uh, it's wise to bridle uh, our tongue, uh, but uh, we let 
to stuff a slip. Are y'all with me? Nah, we've heard that we should love one another. Nah, but we're selective. We've heard that we should help the needy. But we have needs or wants too. We've heard that we should pray often, but we're busy people. We've heard that we should let our light shine, but we don't have time to keep our lamps trimmed and burning. Oh, during this season of Lent, it's wise to take account of our faith, to evaluate where we stand along the straight and narrow road, to calculate whether we need to make some spiritual adjustments to our walk and uh, our talk uh, and uh, to reassess uh, our ability uh, to endure uh, like uh, a good soldier. Uh, oh, brothers and sisters, uh, endurance, uh, that's the true test uh, of Christianity. Uh, it's our stick Intuitiveness uh, that's being uh, tested. Yeah. Uh, so let me ask you uh, are you slipping? All right. All right. Let me ask you again uh, are you uh, slipping? Uh, let's take uh, a closer look uh, at our own wilderness test uh, through the eyes uh, of Christ. Uh, Jesus endured. Uh, the same three tests uh, in the wilderness uh, that he faced uh, in the garden uh, of Eden. Uh, they were physical appetite, uh, personal gain, uh, and uh, power. Uh, Solomon uh, was right. Uh, there is nothing new uh, under uh, the sun. Uh, the first test uh, was one uh, of physical uh, appetites. Uh, look at your neighbor and say physical appetites. Satan tried uh, to get Jesus to act uh, independently uh, of his father uh, by tapping into uh, a weak moment uh, of fasting. Uh, turn uh, these stones uh, into bread uh, was the challenge. Uh, but Jesus knew uh, that God intended for him uh, to experience hunger uh, as a test uh, of endurance. Uh, if Jesus were to submit to Satan's suggestion uh, and satisfy his hunger, uh, he would be going uh, against uh, the will uh, of God. Uh, every Christian uh, goes through uh, this endurance test uh, as our Father, God, uh, has a purpose uh, for our lives. Uh, he has preordained uh, our path. Uh, our choice uh, is to follow his path uh, or go it alone uh, and risk separating uh, ourselves uh, from uh, his will. Uh, our Christian journey uh, is a test uh, of our endurance. Uh, our choices should never be based on uh, Solely uh, on filling uh, our bellies uh, or our barns, uh, but rather uh, on God's uh, desire for us. Uh, delight thyself uh, also uh, in the Lord, uh, and He shall uh, give you uh, the desires uh, of your heart. Uh, oh, I think I said something right there. Christians uh, have slipped uh, from their pre uh, 
ordained path. Maybe you stepped off the path of honesty and landed in court. Maybe you stepped off the path of fidelity and hurt your marriage. Maybe you stepped off the path of charity and gained the world but lost your soul. Any direction that dishonors God is sin. Any weakness that wearies God is sin. If you want to keep from slipping, follow Isaiah's advice. God will keep you in perfect peace if you keep your mind it's on him. Jesus responded to the test saying man does not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Is your appetite slipping? The second wilderness test was one of personal gain. Now, look at somebody say personal gain. Satan suggested that Jesus cast himself from the highest point of the temple and arrive in grand fashion to the delight of the Jews. Who believed the Messiah would visibly descend from the heavens? Satan taunted, What are you afraid of? The prophecy says you won't get hurt. God won't even let you dash your foot against a stone. Satan actually misquoted the prophecy in Psalm 91, 11 and 12. It's true. The scripture does say, for he shall give his angels charge over thee, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. But Satan deliberately left out the important middle point. The prophecy promises to protect only those who follow the Lord's will. Those who follow God in all your ways. In God's ways. What a trick. And he's still pulling it today. Satan wants to move us, uh, yeah, to be people uh, of pleasure uh, rather than God pleasers. When you pray in church, Satan tempts you with the desire to use uh, impressively eloquent words. When you preach or teach in church, uh, Satan tempts you uh, with compliments uh, for your brilliance. Yeah. When you give to charity, Satan tempts you with praise uh, for your generosity. Watch what happens to people who allow their motives uh, to become uh, tainted. Their whole life focus shifts from selfless to selfish. Jesus knew you can't serve both God and man. That's mammon. One of the two has to be the controlling force. Jesus chose obedience to God. It would be God's will over his will. He responded to Satan from Deuteronomy 6 and 16 saying, You shall not tempt the Lord your God. Satan is always 
tempting us. Are you slipping? The third and final wilderness test was one of power. Turn around and look at somebody and say, are you looking for power? Give the Lord a hand of praise, everybody. Satan told Jesus, uh, you can have all the kingdoms as far as your eye can see if you bow down and uh, worship me. Uh, yeah, Brother Ashford, Satan knows uh, that the temptation for fame uh, and fortune uh, bears down hard uh, on a person's uh, moral compass. Uh, yeah, yeah, the proof uh, is in the souls uh, strewn along uh, the broad road uh, to hell uh, who lost the battle uh, and succumbed uh, to the devil. I want you to know, Brother Ben, it's hard for a man uh, to go to heaven uh, when he allows himself uh, to be tempted uh, with Time being, he left, he knew that 
or visit our website at churchontherockbaptist.com and send me a note. And someone will get back with you and together we will pray. If you are in the San Jose, Silicon Valley area, you get on the 101 and hurry up and get here. We're off Yerba Buena Road and Highway 101. And if you're not in the Bay Area, wherever you are, we'll help you find a local Baptist church where you can get in and grow and work until Jesus comes to take us home. Wherever you are, we're praying for you today. Well, it's offering time here at Church on the Rock. And we've made it so easy for you to give generously. We've been talking about that sacrifice and giving. Your giving allows the church to keep its doors open. Your giving allows the church to be able to come to you through media vehicles like this. Your giving allows for people to actually spend time praying, studying, mining out the riches of God's grace and mercy. And I don't have to tell you what the Bible says. It is more blessed to give than it is to receive. We've made it so easy for you to give to Church on the Rock through electronic applications of PayPal, Cell Pay, and Cash App. All you have to do is dial our phone number at 408-532-ROCK. That's 408 532 7625. We're also on the Givelify app. Just search for Church on the Rock Baptist in San Jose. You'll see a picture of our sanctuary. Or you can go to our website at churchontherockbaptist.com and hit the giving button. Finally, you can also mail your love gift today to Church on the Rock, Post Office Box 730 341. San Jose, California, 95173. You know that God will never let you out give him. So we thank you in advance for what you're going to do today. And we know that God will bless you for your giving. Well, until next time, this week ask yourself every day, are you slipping? If you are, type it up. Get it right. Make it right. And if you aren't, you stay on the battlefield with the rest of us. We're all soldiers in the army of the Lord. And we want you to come on and go with us until he comes to take us home. I am on the battlefield for my Lord.